Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. In today's video, we're continuing our discussion around Rosemont Micromotion Flow Meter Technologies. Now, in the last video, we talked through core processors, and this video, we're gonna talk through the different installation options we have, depending on where that core processor is located. Now, the simplest approach is, you know, nice and easy. Everything is integral to one another. Your core processor is mounted directly on your sensor, and your transmitter is mounted directly on top of that. There might be some temperature limitations with this type of installation, but there are no wiring limitations. Now, the next option we have our transmitter remotely mounted away from that flow sensor. Uh, and in this case, we're gonna say our core processor is integral to that sensor. This means that we have four wire uh, cable from that sensor or the core processor to the transmitter, which limits our distance of a thousand feet, which is a pretty great distance, um, and is one way to establish the transmitter core processor sensor relationship. Another way is the very sim setup. So where we have our transmitter remotely mounted from our sensor, but now we actually have the core processor integral to that transmitter. You might think, well, what's the big difference here? Well, because we have this core processor remotely mounted, it actually has to have nine wire uh, cabling back to our sensor there. And, and due to that, we actually have a distance limitation of 60 feet. Uh, but because your core processor and your transmitter are not intricately matched to that sensor, you can get a little bit of an extension on that temperature limit. Now the last piece is what we call the double hop method. So again, our flow sensor and our transmitter are both remotely mounted, but so is our core processor. So we have all three separate to one another. So in the, similar to the last setup, we have nine wire between the sensor and the core processor, and we have four wire from the transmitter to the core processor. So for that first distance, it's limited to 60 feet. The second distance is limited to 1,000 feet. And you might be thinking, why would you want to do this? Uh, because it simplifies stocking purposes. And so what I mean by that is the same transmitter we have here, we can also use it when you order a sensor with an integral core processor. So we can use it in either of those instances. As well, if you have some legacy micromotion and flow meters that do not have a core processor, but you're looking to upgrade transmitters, you can utilize this exact same setup here. Uh, and that way, again, you can just establish the, the same transmitter uh, independent of what sort of setup that you have there. So it just simplifies stocking uh, altogether. And so this is a very common approach. Should you have any questions about Micromotion Flow Meter Technologies or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.